everybody. There's Bouncy. Welcome to the, um, I believe sixth episode of the, um, creation, no, the, of the Book of Revelation series of devotionals. Today we'll be doing, we'll study, today we'll be reading from Revelation chapter 20, which is 15 verses long. It talks about the future, the Satan being bound for a thousand years, and the a thousand year reign with with Jesus, the satanic rebellion crushed, and the great white throne judgment. Alright, Revelation 20 starting verse 1. Actually, before we do that, I almost forgot. I'll do a quick opening prayer. Lord, I pray this information is not funny or anything offend anybody. And I know that this is a heavy topic, but like, I guess, like uh, you know, you didn't write this, or this, you didn't have revelation written to keep us up at keep us up at night worrying. You just gave it. So you had it written to encourage the suffering church and encourage the believers. So let this not fear. Let this not bring fear into our hearts. For we tr trust that in my name is in the book. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, now we're going to get started. Revelation chapter 20, verse 1, Satan bound a thousand years. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit, and a great chain in, it, in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless, bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set seal on him. So that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment, judgment was committed to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus for, and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ. And shall reign with him a thousand years. Satanic rebellion crushed. Verse 7. Now when thou the thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison, and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, Magog, to gather, to gather them together to battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. They went up on the breadth of the earth, and surrounded the camp of the saints in the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. The devil who deceived him was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. That, right? Great white throne judgment, verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no found there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were, which were written in the, in the books. The sea, the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone who not found written 
in the Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire. And what it means by anyone who was not found written in the Book of Life, anybody who is not a believer in Jesus, basically. They have their chance to chant. They have their chance to repent. And I hope this isn't offending you, or as Revelation is a little is a little bit of a heavy topic. But it's not meant to be like that. So if you're struggling, if you don't want to hear the Lord say, "Depart from me," at the judgment. Better get right with him. Okay. Yeah. Just don't know what else to say. Just can't wait till he makes his return and until all evil is destroyed. Amen to that. Hallelujah. After this episode, there's two more. Two more. After this episode, there's two more episodes of this series, and then one more. One finale episode I'll be doing after following this series on a certain topic which you'll find out in three weeks anyway I guess since since I don't really have anything else to say I'll just end with a quick ending prayer Lord I pray that this information did not offend anybody that this could be encouraging and not alarming to people and if it is alarming I pray that you can comfort comfort men and and you just help them feel safe Lord. help them not to doubt and do not let do not let the do not let the devil interfere with me and anybody we know what his future is. His future is not very bright. God, you will always, you will always win. No matter how hard he tries, you will win. And I thank you for that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright. I guess that will be it for this episode. Stay tuned for two more episodes as well as uh, another following episode following this series. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you got something out of it. That's it.